One thing that I love about the five under five dollar challenge is that it challenges me to create super cute DIYs on a budget. Today I'm going to be sharing five DIYs that are all under five dollars each to make and I'm also going to be sharing some tips and tricks to help you on your crafting journey. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Now this first DIY is so easy to make. You could probably do it in, I don't know, like five minutes or so, but I thought about using a paint stick for it. And you could also maybe use these jumbo popsicle sticks. It just kind of depends on how big of a decal that you're going to be using. Is it decal or decal? I don't know. Anyways, but I ended up using this scrap piece of wood and I'm just making a little mini sign for my tear tray. I can't find my box of regular size gloves, so I'm using these huge ones because I don't want to mess up my manicure. Y'all know how I am about that, but I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique, and usually I brush it on and then wipe it off with a damp cloth, but today I'm just dipping my damp piece of scrap cloth into the wax and then using that to spread it around. It literally took just a few minutes to be dry enough to apply the decal. Now I'm going to question how I'm saying that. But anyway, I made this decal and I'm going to just center it as best as I can. Y'all know I don't usually use a ruler or anything. I just measure with my heart. So, And don't forget, you can always use stickers or stencils or hand draw it on. This cost me less than a dollar to make since I already had the vinyl and the Waverly Wax and I had those on hand and the wood was free looks super cute on my tear tray. Okay, now I've shared with y'all before, try not to ever buy anything full price at Hobby Lobby for most things. If it's not on sale this week, it will be next week. For this project, I grabbed two of these wood sign blanks. And the first thing I always do is remove the stickers. I just think it makes my projects look more high end, more finished out. And for this particular sign, you can actually use either side, but I chose the side that was white. And I'm using blue painter's tape to cover the areas that I don't want to paint. And I paint both sides with Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. It's kind of my new favorite color, y'all. <laughs> These decals that I'm using are free on Whiskey and Whip. I'll link her video down below in my description box. And I'm just using Expressions Vinyl transfer tape, paper transfer tape to apply these. And it works so well, y'all. It doesn't pull up the paint or anything. It just makes it so much nicer. Don't have to mess with it too much. Now for these two signs, they were about, oh gosh, less than $3 a piece. I got them on sale. And of course I had the other materials on hand. So what a deal. I made this ladder a while back and I decided that I could use it for more than just a blanket display. So I put a boxwood wreath in the corner and then I put the two signs that I made and I added the buffalo check blanket. I think this is a fun spin on like a traditional tier tray and that's how DIY number two and three turned out. I'm popping in to say hi. If you're enjoying today's video so far, please be sure and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's get back to the DIYs. Bye! Now, it's no secret that I'm a super fan of Whiskey and Wit. She created a smaller version of this sign, and I love this quote, and I thought it would look great in my office. And while this sign I'm taping off is very cute on its own, I wasn't going to use it in my home like this and it was 90% off. I bought it last year. So it was a steal. It was originally 24, I think 24 99. And so I only paid 2 49 for it. So, um, yeah, I got I made mean, You can't get much cheaper than that. So I gave it, I think two coats of this Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss. Again, I'm really loving the color Moss. Once it dried, I printed out the decal and applied it. And I used that again, I used that expressions paper transfer tape because it does not pull up the paint y'all or mess up any other part of my project. Unlike the other transfer tapes that I've used in the past, trust me, just if you can get the paper transfer tape from expression vinyl, this is not sponsored or anything like that. I buy the six inch size. So of course I had to double up for this project. 
Now this finished project piece looks way darker than it really is in real life, but I love it. This piece cost me less than $3. It was like $2.50 for this side, and then not even 50 cents for the other materials that I used. Turned out super cute. Oh, I've got a Facebook crafting group that you should join, like right now, join it now. <laughs> the link's gonna be in the description box below. This last DIY is my favorite. I mean, I love it. I love all the other ones that I, I created, of course, but this one turned out really cute and I just really love it. So, um, plus if you can't tell, it has cats on it. Well, you really can't tell <laughs> because my hand's in the way, but this is an Instructables inspired project. It's practically a dupe for it. In fact, the Instructables has a template of a cat head, but I just created my own. And then I traced a bunch of cats onto this clay pot and I'll have a link to the original project in my description box below. Now, I did not go all the way around with my tracings, but once I had enough, or as many as I wanted, I began painting them. I used a lighter gray, a darker gray, a black, and a white. And the fun thing about this is you could totally customize this and make it whatever colors suit you in your home. And I tried to be careful and take my time doing this because, you know, it, trying to paint like in a small space like that where they're overlapping it's a little difficult but you know you make it work so for the darker colors i dipped the end of a paintbrush into white and made two dots and on the dark cats um two dots on the dark cats for what for the darker cats i dipped my paintbrush in white and made two dots for the lighter cats i did the same thing but i dipped it into black these are going to be the eyes now to finish off the eyes, I take the opposite color and make a smaller dot. So like for the white dots, I just make a smaller black dot. And for the black dots, I make a smaller white dot. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. That's what makes the eyes. Now I make some triangle shapes on each ear to kind of shade in the ear. And so you can tell that it's their ear. And I forgot to film me making their mouse and whiskers, but it's a triangle for the nose and three lines on each side for the whiskers. I think the pot was $2.37 at Hobby Lobby. I had all the paint on hand, so this was under $3 for me to make. And gosh, y'all, it just turned out so cute. I just, I love how this turned out. And you know, part of the fun of this $5 challenge is the fact that you that Dollar Tree has raised their prices, but it still goes to show you can create super cute, budget-friendly decor that looks high-end. I appreciate y'all stopping by so much and showing love to my channel. Don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!